previously on Euro Truck Simulator 2. Right, okay, so we're gonna have to go round this because it's on it's on as a police car. We'll have a look down there in a second. So we have to go round this. Can we get off earlier to do something? I want to see what's going on. I can't see. Ah, down there, look, blocked as well. See it? Hmm, okay, right, let's go. Hello, we're back again with more Euro Truck Simulator. Um, and actually, a change to the mic. I'm going back to the old mic. The the new one I got just didn't have. Um, I think did it, I don't know if it had the tone. You can probably tell me, but I don't think it had the tone really, and it wasn't quite right. So so I've gone back to the other another microphone. Anyway, here we are. We've got the music playing. We're all ready to go. We're still in Lithuania where we were at that very empty car park. If you remember from the last episode. So so we got that very empty car park. We're we're we're, we're doing that. Hopefully a bit better driving today because I'm I'm feeling. I'm feeling in the mood for a bit of a better drive. We've got plenty of cash, so what I'm really looking for is if we go to the um, garages option, which is um, not garages. Sorry, I want to buy a truck. Where am I looking? Oh, truck dealers. Sorry, right up there. Truck dealers. We've got the truck dealers. What we're looking for is we're looking for a Renault one. We're going to try and find a Renault one. Wow, is that fortuitous or what? That really is fortuitous. There's actually one not too far away. My gut feeling is we go for it. Um, we've got two hundred thousand now, in, in, and and to be fair, we we could maybe take a loan if we have to for a little bit. We'll see. Um, so we're gonna go with that, and then we can. What we'll do is we'll send my truck back to the UK, um, just to annoy him because it's on the wrong side of the road. But I'll send my truck, my original truck, back to the UK, and they can they can and put another driver in there, install another driver. So hopefully, if there's a truck dealer there, I wonder if there's a recruitment agency as well. Wow, there is. Poor fella's going to have to go from Lithuania, though, to the UK. That's <laughs> kind of, I think, I think that's how the recruitment works. Anyway, so that's cool. So, go back to, to where was I? Uh, not purchase garages. I've gone, gone too far. I need to go to dealers again. So, we need to go there, and then we need to grab a mission. But this is the mission at the moment, is to go here. Um, select dealer. Do you really want to travel to that dealer? Um, yeah, I do, but I don't want to do it this way. I want to drive there, so I want to go this way to this place. So, um, Kunas? Kunas? Something like that? Okay, anyway, let's drive and see if we can find a short uh, drive. We might as well get paid to go. If you're driving, you're driving, aren't you? So we, we might as well get paid to actually do that. So so we'll, we'll do that. Um, uh, do you know what? I didn't check all the comments because I was talking about frustrations when driving actually the other day, wasn't I? When I was when I was sort of um, talking about the whole thing. So, um, but but uh, I think there was a few frustrations with the old um, um, bicyclists sometimes. I think that the problem with the United Kingdom though, when it comes to bicyclists, is that we realistically we need we desperately need um, a, 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 um, a. Where am I going? Hang on, hang on. Is it that way? that way that's where that old thing is there look because it's like a little garage thing look over here yeah we desperately need um some form of um sort of proper bicycle tracks for them something really make that effort and that's the thing and i know it's all money and whatever else it is but but i mean one of the things the pandemic did do is a lot of people because they didn't want to travel with um sort of masks on on public transport got back to sort of you know the, the, their old so their childhoods and got and picked themselves up a a, a bicycle or an e-bicycle and and started doing that instead so so with that sort of rise and that kind of thing i know it's not good for the fuel industry but uh, we're trying to reduce that anyway because we're going all electric apparently um you, you, you'd think that, uh, that 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 would be it would be it would be this would be the time to start thinking about it plus realistically it generates an industry in itself you know more bicycle stuff um it also generates um I think I've got it. I think it's it's mapping my way to this dealer actually. Where's this this where's this going to? On the map. I should stop really and find out exactly what this is doing. I'll tell you what. We'll we'll just put the the indicator on. Pull up a little bit long here. That's not going to open thankfully. Right. Let's have a quick look at the, what's what's going on on the on the map. I think. Oh, 
button. I think that it's mapped out a journey to my to where I'm going. Oh no, it hasn't. Oh, it's. Do you know what this is? This is from last episode. This is where I said I was going to get a job from. So we're going to go there. We're going to do that. This place is so close, though. Look at it. It's so so blowing close. Let's have a little look. So that's. I think that's the dealer, isn't it? Yeah, that's the truck dealer. How far away is it? Oh, it's further than I think. It's a hundred and something odd miles. All right, we'll we'll go here then. We'll definitely go there. Let's kill that and let's go to this one because that was the job I was going to. I was following busily following that GPS now. Couldn't remember exactly why I was following that GPS. Okay, let's indicate and come back out again. Just have a little stop for a second there. Think about what we're doing because there's that airport, wasn't there, over here that we were looking at last time round? Looks cool. All those sort of old, those sort of grey buildings look sinister, scary. Right. Okay. Here we go. So I come to these traffic lights. I want to go. Ah, oh, months. Yeah. Somebody said the other day that on my fast replay, you know, that I did for for an episode, a couple of episodes back, where I had a little bit of issue with my my sound, um, that uh, that that I ran a couple of red lights. You were absolutely correct. I did run a couple of red lights, um, very unintentional, but but I did run them. I wasn't having the best of journeys anyway. There was a lot of noise going on, if I remember rightly, from the whole thing. We got a light there though. All right, we're on we're on our way. And we're back. Just smoothly going round. Speeding a little bit. No, can't go to that one. Gotta keep going straight on. Thought for a minute that I could turn down there. You'd think that would actually be a shortcut through to where I want to be, looking at the way the road is, look. See how it is? Hmm, strange. Okay, let's wait. Waiting for that red light. It's one of those things, isn't it? A truck, trucking thing. It sometimes it just doesn't go your way. How's that? There we go. So we're gonna go get ourselves a Renault truck now. There's a reason. There was a reason. There was some method to my madness with the Renault truck. It was. Uh, it was. It was kind of uh, because I've got Osenbrook, which has already got a Renault in it, a Renault Premium, because it was the only place I could buy it from. But once I get to five, though, I can buy online for my trucks, which is quite useful actually. But. Um, yeah, the, there was there was a re method to my madness. It was kind of like I think I think per country, I'm thinking groups of vehicles per country maybe. So it would be nice to see sort of a fleet of of Renaults one place and a fleet of a fleet of their vehicles in the UK. I don't know why it's still mixing it up like that. To be honest with you, I wonder if they'd ever con contemplate a Euro Truck Vintage. So uh, maybe a variation of Eurotruck either as a, an add-on or as a uh, I don't know what exactly I'm going to say I'm saying add-on, um, but something like that um, with the context. No, I can't integrate with that. Go 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 go. Um, with the sort of vintage trucks. So say what do you think? Nineteen fifties or sixties maybe. Sort of a, a vintage Europe or something similar as well. I mean, I know it's a lot of work that, but but it but oh, that was me a bit faster. Um, a vintage sort of thing, driving vintage trucks. I mean, that could be that could be quite kind of interesting in its nature, couldn't it? If you think about it, that could be quite fun. Maybe you could do vintage trucks on the modern roads as well. I mean, that that's fair enough. Um, I mean, it's obviously a lot of a lot of remodeling because I mean, I would assume a lot of this is done by hand. There's a lot, of, there's there's a lot of there's some stock shapes, obviously, for buildings, but but I think a lot of it was done is done by hand. So, um, but that 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 could be quite interesting. Right, let's see what jobs we've got. Let's have a little look at the freight market. I still haven't got myself a trailer though. I need to get myself a trailer at some point. Or trailers. Um, nope, nope. Mm, goes close. Could make it maybe they could do to her, but then I'd have to drag this load in there as well. No, neither. Of the, I'm not, I'm, do you know what? I'm going to make the hundred mile mile journey. 
I'm going to lose a bit of money though because of the fact that I'll be paying back the loan. Um, so we'll make the 100 mile journey. Let's do this. Let's make the 100 mile journey. Let's let's go get this truck because I really want this truck. So so let's let's do that. And we can sort it out later. So we're going Yeah. It said that there was also a, an agency there. Did you see that? I wonder where the agency is. I think that's the truck dealer, isn't it? Let's push I for information. Yeah, truck dealer. And then where is the... I can't see the other elements of it. Where it says garage, garage for sale, servicing, border patrols. Well, it doesn't show the, the agency as such. Interesting. How does it show on here? Like that. It did say there was one. Ah, oh, there it is. I can't see it for looking at it, look. It's there. Right, let's kill this off because we don't want that. And let's go for it. So we'll, we'll, we'll basically, we'll go get our truck first and then we'll get our agency and we'll send the other truck to the United Kingdom. So let's do that. Okay, let's go. Bit of an interesting, this is a, this is a management episode, I think. This is, this is, this is us managing our trucks. By the time I've done all this, we'll, we'll, I'll be, it'll only be time for a teeny little journey in my new truck, I think. So that's what we'll do. Anyway, let's see if we can whip on out of here. Okay. All clear. Let's go. So we got we had a little we had a little sort of detour to this this place here. I do I, I kind of like the the the. I mean, it's it's that Eastern European look of this city actually. That that concrete look. That 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 sort of the the adoption of that that's there. Um, it sometimes can be when it's really really sort of you know when it's absolutely stunning. It can it, you know it it can look very. Okay, please just let me go. I'm hoping I'm not in trouble. The bus stop. Yeah, he's let me go. That's interesting. Okay, fair enough. Okay, through the lights. Maybe get there. How? Hopefully we'll get there quite quickly. It's an hour and 50 minutes though to journey there. It's quite a long way actually. Hour and 50. 65 miles to go to our dealer. But that's where we're going. Big blue and, and blue and yellow facility over there. I think that's probably uh, it's the sort of the not a Kia but a Kia. <laughs> it's funny. Once upon a time, you know, um, there was no licensing of things. You know, so when you had, for instance, the Ferrari and. Um, Sega's Outrun. There was there was no licensing for that. Um, it, there wasn't a requirement to license it. Nobody nobody came after Sega, except for later, you know. And 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 it's kind of sad, really, that that that, that you, you know that, that I get it. It's people's brands, I guess. They don't want them sort of in a something or other. But at the same time, I'm hoping that licensing isn't a huge and expensive thing as it used to be, because that just it's just knock on effect. And and to be fair. It's almost money for old rope in a strange way, because you 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 you're modelling and demonstrating somebody's say truck here, um, without having to sort of, uh, without anybody ever having to do it. And if you're if you're if you're if you're a driver who loves driving and you know loves sort of all this kind of stuff, then you 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 probably you're probably playing this game as well, you know, as 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 fun when you're not when you're not doing it for real. Um, so so I don't know. It's a funny one, isn't it? It's corporations making corporations money. I, I get it. They don't want you using their brand without their name because it's you know, very brand aware, a bit like Apple and things like that in the world. So, if, to be fair, Apple's got more money than than God. Um, so, <laughs> but, but yeah, I, I don't know. Eh. I don't. I, I. You would hope they're fair with these licensing things and these licensing deals. I know that uh, the latest version of Outrun doesn't feature a Ferrari. It features a car very similar to a Ferrari Testarossa, but it isn't actually a Ferrari Testarossa. I am going to go for it here because these two are drifting, and I can get up to fifty-six. No bother at all. Get packs rocks eater quarries. That's what that was called. Was it rock eater quarries? Rock eater quarries. There we go. Oy. Feels like speeding a little bit here. But I'm not. I'm just, just doing the speed limit. 56. Coming off at this one. 
Way. Can I fly when you when you when you've no load and a and a and an empty truck? It's just it's just it's just you just fly. Forty three. Coming down on this road. Try to look as I go. I should be able to get out in front of him. Yep, I'm out in front of him. There we go. Those those sort of um, building things to go up around for the pedestrians to walk up and down. Okay, here we go. We're ploughing on. Passing somewhere here. Oh, there's a turning spot there. That's an interesting bit. I haven't seen one of those before. Where you basically could turn across the, the two motorways. So that was kind of cool. To get into this place here, which is a very big facility, isn't it? Huge facility. 43 is our speed limit here. Not the fastest of runs. How are we doing for diesel? We're alright for diesel. We do need a sleep, though, so we can probably do that. They do let you sleep in the um, the 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 um, agencies, so so we can probably get a sleep in the agencies. Yeah, passed on the outside. Oh, we can get up to 56, that's why. I didn't even see the speed limit change there. It's beautiful out here. Oh, wow. Wow. The uh, speed limit definitely changed there. I saw that one. That was beautiful, wasn't it? That was a beautiful looking church. I'm assuming it's a church. Could be a mosque, I suppose. Don't know. I'm going to assume a church, I think. That's what I'm going to go with. I'm going with church on that one. Maybe. It's very pretty. This whole scenery is very pretty, actually. We're not hauling anything today, though. Not yet. We're not far away, though. 22 miles out. I'm very excited. We're going to get there while it's still open. Well, we should get there while it's still open. Oh, and it's Sunday. We need to sleep. We'll go in there and sleep then for the mor until the morning. Might have to do two sleeps. We'll see what happens, though. It won't be open on a Sunday. So we're not coming off at this one. It's the next turning that we're coming off at. Yeah, this next one up here. That's back up to 56, and I hadn't noticed. Keep missing the signs on this one. There we go. We're coming down around this one. Back to 43. Back to 31. I'm speeding a bit that. Okay, we're okay. A lot of looping round on ourselves there, watching the mirrors. Right, we're almost there, we're so close, nine miles away. That's trucks come out. Just working my way gently to the place. Speed limit will definitely have changed here, yep, it has. 37. Here's, this, here's the town. This is the place. This place. Do you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of a place I went recently where it was very sort of industrial and flat. It was, it was, uh, uh, I was in a place called, um, not too long ago, a place called Grangemouth. And it was very industrial and flat like this. It's very, um, it's very much it's a product of its industrial sort of and um, chemical heritage, if that makes sense. So, it's, so it's, it's very... The roads are very set and fast, but they're, but and then there's bits in the. It's very block-like, um, which the United sort of States use. You know, sort of the the square blocks of um, buildings. It's very much like that. Okay, let's go. Right. And we're going over here. Across here to the other side. It's clear. Let's go. It's fair. Do you know what? It feels very smooth today. However, as I say, it's without that, without that huge sort of trailer on the back. It feels very smooth. There's cars parked in there. It, I, it, it, it looks beautiful, doesn't it? I, 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 wow. It is stunning. This game's brilliant. 
Oh, I've leveled up. I'm now level 20. Master. I don't know how I leveled up, though. Is that just from travelling around? I think I got experience from just travelling around. I meant to... to, to, to why did I have to go back around that way? Hang on, why is it taking us... Ah, oh, right. That's not what I wanted to do. Let's go... Let's... Let's... Let's go the... Um, I can see what's happened. Is the waypoint's gone to the other place. As the second way... The first put waypoint, because I've put it in again. So what I need to do is go this way, up and round, and then just knock out that way, way, those waypoints when I get stopped. So let's just do that. Yeah, because I want to get to this place, and I need to sleep anyway, so we can do that. We can sleep till morning. Right. We are through. Ready for turning. Ah, oh, lovely. Smooth. Smooth, super smooth. Here's the Renault dealership coming up. I'm speeding because I'm excited. I am excited to be at the Renault dealership, which will be shut because it's not open on Sundays. But that's okay. We can put, we can park up and we can get a rest. There's, a, there's an actual garage there as well. Do you see that? Past the, past the garage. So this will be shut, but that's okay. We're okay with that. We're going to pop in here. Yeah, I've got free roaming, of course. So I've been free roaming, so I've got so I leveled up to level twenty, which means that probably when I stop, um, I don't think I'll be able to buy today. Yeah, it's, it's shut. We need open to eight a.m. on Monday. There must be somewhere we can park around here. Over here, maybe. Let's see if it'll let us park and rest our. Nope, that's not it. That's not where we want to be. Normally they have a parking spot. Not today, it seems. Hmm. Okay. Not today. No parking spot that I can see there. There's even a, there's a guy outside just loitering. See him. Not doing much work on a Sunday, pal. They're shut. He's waiting for Monday. It's not going to happen. Right, there's some sleeping areas around here anyway, I can see them. So let's go get sleep. This has been a funny episode, this one. This is not, this is, this isn't, this has been almost exploration, hasn't it? Then Rather than, uh, rather than a, the usual sort of uh, doing a, a run. I really want to do a really short, short, short run once we've got the, once I've got the bits and pieces. We're already up to 20 minutes, 22 minutes plus on my side of the recording. Um, in fact, more than 22 minutes, it's less than 22, more than 22 minutes for you because you've got the recap and all the other bits and pieces. So, 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 um, yeah, it's about 25 minutes probably. Right, there's a place up here that can park. Not this, it can be, they can be awkward these things for parking in the garage bits of them. So we'll, we'll go to the, where the, the diesel is and we'll, we'll do that. Right, come on, and I can then I can get rid of that GPS rubbish that's going on there. So I'm going straight on here rather than around the corner, because I can see the up by this um, Suprema place that's there. Just up there, we're going to head up there, and we're going to get ourselves. Uh, there's a place around this corner. I'm speeding again because I'm excited. There we go. Right. So, look at that, it's cutting us through the, the garage. Interesting. So, the garage is there, you can see the garage. It's actually taking us through the garage, the GPS, it's interesting. Yeah, so we want to be in here. I think we've stopped in this city before. You probably didn't. You probably saw it in the recap. I think the recap one, I may have gone through the city before. I just get, you just get the impression that I have been here before. Especially when it comes to sort of this parking over here. So let's let's go do this anyway. Which is no entry. This is no entry this way. So so realistically I shouldn't go in that way. Should come down here and I should be able to there you go. So he says enter down here. So we'll do that. I I'm, I'm quite convinced I've been here before. And I think it was in the recap that you'll have seen it. This is where um that speedy recap that I did that, that wasn't I wasn't very happy about, but but we did that. Yeah, we've most definitely been here. I recognise it. I remember parking up in here, in fact, for the night. And there's the bit. Let's get us in the bay. That's it. Let's have a little look. Yep, we're nicely in. 
Right, so let's first t turn that engine off and let's rest. And it'll be a funny time of night, so we may have to rest again. So if we press rest again, that'll wake us up in the morning. There we go, 10 a.m., perfect. You can see me in the driver's seat there. So we've had a nice rest. Right, let's get back in and let's go. So it is 10 a.m. And we are heading... Oh, I forgot to change, take those things off. Let me just take those GPS things off because they're really annoying, aren't they? Let's get rid of them because they're, they're all over the map. Well, let's not do that. That's the one. It's the only one we need, that one there, which is the one we're going to to begin with. And then we'll go get ourselves a new employee. So let's go have a little look at this truck. We'll need to get a decent one. And we've got a 460 brake horse in the current truck. So I want to try and achieve the same level. Um, I think I'm going to go with... I'm on the wrong side of the road. I was driving in the UK there. Terrible driving, look at that. <laughs> oh dear. Right. Here we go. Right, so... I need 460 brake horse. I think I'm going to go by, um, is it 6 by 2 I think it's the, the definition, which is the, the 6 sets of wheels isn't it, and the, and, the, and, and whatever else it is, which is the, 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 would be the UK exempt kind of, or tax ration basis thing, can't remember, there was something about that anyway, so we're going to go with that, we're going to get, we're going to get that one sorted I think, so, so that's the, the plan, I'm excited though, I'm going, I'm, I'm trying out the speed. Try to speak. Yeah, because I remember that really exciting, that this building here has got some really interesting drawings on it. You see that one there? The way it sort of looks, it's just a bit weird. Cool though. There we go. Stay green, stay green, stay green, stay green, stay green. Yay! Blasted through. Right, here we go. Lovely. We are going in. Beautiful. It's time. He's still there, look. There's a couple of other guys and all. Oh, he's still there, he's still waiting. I'm not sure what he's doing. It's like the doorman who's thrusting. I know, he stopped thrusting. Oh, thrusting. Thrusting. Oh, he's... What the heck is he doing? I don't know. I don't want to watch him too much longer because it seems a bit wrong. Right, here we go, Renault trucks. So we do not want a premium one. We're not going to trade in, we're going to keep our current one. So what we're going to do is let's have a little look at the models. I probably can't afford them all. What we got? Ooh, that's the sleeper. So we got somewhere to sleep in that one. Let's have a little look at that. That looks cool, doesn't it? 380 brake horse. Um, it's got... I don't know what the gearbox is, but it's, but it's there. Sleeper. That's actually not too bad price-wise, that. That's... Uh, I don't want trade-in value. That's 118. That's not bad. We can, but we're, we're looking big here, though. We're looking for big, I think, is the answer to this. That's 400. That's... Ooh. Magnum Excellence. Can we look inside? That's the lights on. That's, that's inside, is it? Can we look inside? I thought there was a look inside button. No, just just rotate the outside before you start configuring it. Quite like that, though. That kind of looks, looks kind of mean, that one. That's the mag... So we had the Magnum XL. Oh, this is slightly more... What's the difference here? Oh, it's the it's the it's the body skirting, so it's more sort of hidden away. Then we've got the premium high roof um, version of the premium, premium high roof with I guess body skirts on. Yeah, that's it. Then we have the premium. All ah, right, so it's this wheel configurations now. So this is six by four. Sorry, that's what I was looking for. Six by four is what I was going to be. Um, this is the Magnum XL six by four left hand drive. Ah, looks good, doesn't it? How much is that? 166. Oh my god! That's like a racing truck! Wow! Wow! Did not expect that. That's kind of that's kind of floored me that for the racing truck. I kinda of like how it looks. It's kind of it's kind of awesome. <gasps> There's another one. These must be must be special things, I think, that I've, have I downloaded. I don't know. Can't remember. Renault Trucks Route 66 Magnum XL. That's the high sleeper with the uh, 
This is the most expensive. This is 205,000. That's two, 480 brake break horse. Big fuel tank. And this is the top of the range. This is 200. Whoa. So the tag lift. I don't know what the tag lift does, by the way. I do apologize. I know I, know I should know, but I don't. Wow. I'm just in awe. I'm going back, though. I'm going back. We're going back. I'm, I'm so tempted to buy one of these silly ones, but but I, but I need the money because we need some other things. So I think we're going to go Magnum, Magnum XL, I think. Because there's a sleeper one, isn't there? Premium high roof, Magnum XL. That's the sleeper one, which actually looks really quite cool. I quite like the way that looks because it's a sleeper one. But I think we're going to go the XL because I like how high it is. Look at that height on there. Um, we're going to go with the. We're going to save time right now, and we're going to go with the. We're going to find the the six by four one. That's the six by four one. It's one hundred sixty six thousand. That looks really nice, actually. Okay, let's uh, customize the configuration. Excellent. Right, let's have a little look and see what we can do. So yeah, the XL style. That's fine. Uh, drive chassis. We've already got the six by four, which is the extra money there. So, so that should be six sets of wheels, four of them four by four. Somebody explain if I'm wrong. Um, what have we got? We've got the 480 brake horse, which is slightly more powerful than I've got in the current current one. That's good. I like that. Um, doesn't doesn't have does it have a retarder? I can't tell. I don't think it does. That's a Euro five engine. I think it's in the gearboxes you get the retarder, isn't it? Which is basically slows you down if you need to. So we've got the 10,012 speed one here. Um, this is the one I think I really want to be here, don't I? So 12 speed with a retarder. Differential. Optima drive. 16 speed with a retarder. Well, if we're spending money, let's go with the... I'm going to go with the 12 speed there. I think this is probably for heavy loads. Again, somebody needs to tell me a little bit more about this. Do it in the comments below. You know, you know that you know the deal. Um, yeah, I think it does. So it kind of good for normal loads. Yeah, heavy loads. I'm guessing this one is better for heavy. No, normal loads. That one's much better for everything. It's 12 speed, six speed, 16 speed. Definitely better for heavy loads. It's got, us, got me way up there though, so we're going to do it with that slightly fa slightly um, um, more powerful gearbox basically that allows us to traverse um, hills easier. It's not so good with uneven terrain, it's good with manoeuvrability, it's good with heavy and normal cargo so I can really, really pull a lot of things through these gear ratios, so that's what it's all about, it's about the gearing of that. Um, again, I'm not an expert on this so I will, I will, uh, I will do that. Wow. Seat's orange isn't it? My seat's orange. There's actually space for a person in the back there. That is cool. Dashboard with sort of some, some nice dials on here. Let's have a look up. Uh, so the bits and pieces of some good storage, lovely head height. Where's our where's our bed? Is that that's our bed, isn't it, on top of here? So it's our sleeper on top of there. But you've actually got a little sitting area underneath. I think that's the bed, isn't it? Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I like it, I like it. Cup holders. Um, we've got what else have we got in here? Let's have a little dig around. We've got a voltage obviously there. We've got air air conditioning and heating down here. Um, gears are here. Uh, steering well, that, that looks good. There is actually the Route 66 version here as well. Should we have a little look at that just for the hell of it? What's that then? Don't see. Oh, it's oh, it's all carved in as Route 66 now. We'll stick with the, we'll stick with the XL. I quite like that actually. The XL, the sort of cream colours are quite nice actually. Right. Okay. I've never driven one of these before, so this is going to be fun. Okay. We need to colour my truck. Um, and I was going to go with yellow, wasn't I? Because it was that's what my rest of my fleet was. And in fact, that's the yellow I want. How do I choose that? No. Ugh. I wanted the. Uh, Let's find a yellow. That's a green, isn't it? 
There we go. It's a sort of yellow, isn't it? There's a metallic, actually. I thought, oh, look for metallic colours. Custom metallic. There. Oh, I kind of like that. Quite like that, too. But I quite like that one. The gold. What do you think? Should we do it with gold? I think we should do gold. I think that's what it should be. We should get the, we should get some gold on there. I think that's kind of nice. Right, okay. Um, these are adjustables. These are the other things you can add to it. So you can change wheels. Um, have them standard paint. We can change them to be painted. A specific colour. We can technically can make them yellow if you wanted. It's a bit weird though to just do one wheel. So I won't do that. We'll just go back to standard. Happy enough with the standard on most of that. Inside, um, well, of course... Assuming we can do something there. We don't have a travel bag. What we need, what we got over here. That adds loads of dots to the dash. So, yeah, okay. So we can put lots of things on the dash. Driver's plate, steering wheel. Uh that on the steering wheel. I've got to have my chrome knob. There we go. I like my chrome knob. And that one there. And let's get rid of that one there. That's where my chrome knob was. Right. Okay. Uh, what else we got in here? Let's go back to that one. Um, there isn't a space for my, my cool... Th oh, there is! I apologise. I thought I was going to say there isn't a space for my cool box. Got to have a cool box because we're always... We're on the travel all the time. So we've got our cool box. Right, that's our bill. 181,000. Confirm. I wish to purchase that and not trade in my old truck. So we wish to purchase that. Would you like to drive the new truck? Hell yeah! Right, and then we need to move this one to the UK to that slot so basically we're moving it to that slot there so I'm gonna to have to hire somebody else now so we're actually in the town for hiring somebody so this is what we're that's that's what we're gonna do for this episode so so let's do that so we're sending that to the UK okay new truck enjoy your new truck okay oh yeah look at the reflections going across that <gasps> Oh baby, we've got a new truck. Let's do let's let let's let let do the uh, the, the 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 glory shots the, 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 of, of the whole thing. Look at that. Do you know what it reminds me of? Optimus Prime. Uh huh. Yeah, it's kind of it's got the it's got that it's got that it's got that sort of Transformers um, look to it. I'm expecting it to 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 to, to um, transform at any minute and take on Europe. <laughs> oh, I like that. Wow, we're there. Let's start her up. Oh, brilliant. Right, we're all good to go. So where am I ha I'm happy with the sitting position. Yeah, I am. I'm, I'm okay with that. So we can see the mirrors. See the mirror. Pretty much back where I usually sit on the whole thing. If I square it up again. Yeah, I like that. That's good. Right, okay. So we're going to go find somebody to hire now. So we'll just bring up the menu quickly. And we go with... Um, I've got upgrades to do as well, actually, if we were to do that. We'll do that in a minute. Um, so if we go to the map, we need to go over to the... I know where it is, roughly, but we need to go there. And we need to basically hire ourselves a driver for the UK. So some poor Lithuanian fellow's going to have to travel all the way to the UK for his job. Disengage the parking brake. It's all on. Here we go. There's the lights on, by the way. Just thought we'd t test those. Windscreen wipers. And that's the windscreen wipers. And completely off. You can actually see those moving on this. Indicator on. Let's go. Oh, it's fast. It's fast. It's very fast. I've stuck the cruise control on. It's it is it's it's a powerful machine. I can feel it. I feel very high on the road as well. King of the road kind of thing. Slightly, <laughs> for at least three seconds before I crash into something. No, I'm not going to crash into anything. Oh, this is good. 
So this should be. I'm gonna to have to check as well whether this is in Ossenbrook or not. This uh, this this uh, truck is whether it's been play applied to it. it should do because I'm the driver of it, shouldn't it? So I don't see why it shouldn't be applied to uh, Ossenbrook. Oh wow. Oh, it's much more sensitive. I can feel I can feel more of the road on it. That's really nice. It wants me to cut across that way again. It's fine. Don't mind doing it. I'll cut around here. Here we go. There was a little sort of um, vibration there as I accelerated. I could feel it. It was good. Oh yeah! Traffic lights are going with me now. Here we go. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Just gentle. There we go. Lock the, the gauge the gauge the cruise control. Wow. Indicator still on. Sorry. <laughs> Let's go see this uh, um, person here quickly. Without twenty-two thousand in the bank, we need to get. We need to do some more jobs. Here we go. I'm just gonna go. Uh, I don't know which side of the road it should be on here, but we'll we'll find out in a second whether or not where we where we need to be. There's a place there to get a job from, so we'll go there when we when we do, when we're done. I think. I need to pull over in a second. There's a car right underneath me. There he is. You can just stay there. Did I tell you about my adventures on the Euro Truck? Uh, no, no, Euro Truck. Um, um, uh, American Truck Simulator recently. I don't think I did. Um, so I, I took my. Tr I, I bought a new truck. I finally bought one. I bought a Kenworth. Um, which is the, apparently the model I, I liked. So it, I, I think that only, I think that's what it is. You know, when you favour something in it, I think that shows you the first dealership, if that makes sense. So the first option you get to buy one is usually that dealership of the ones you like. So I chose Kenworth because those are sort of the big trucks with the long long noses on them. Not that a lot a lot of American trucks are like that. But but anyway, I uh, I decided that I would go with the, this Kenworth. Um, and uh, I managed to crush two cars straight away because I hadn't real, I hadn't taken into account. Whereas with a European truck, you know, the nose of it's flat. And um, well, the Kenworth one's so long you can't see the car in front of you. I mean, it just literally disappears underneath. Um, oh, here's this guy um, doing mail again. You know that'll burglarise in your place. Hello. I don't think we want to disturb him. It looks a bit dangerous, a bit creepy. <gasps> right. Okay. Oh, this is interesting. That's not the, the that's the picture I used for my um, American Truck Simulator. That's weird. Uh, maybe that's a, maybe that's a sign. Right. So we have. They haven't got the best of drivers here. I think this may be the location. Look at this. They're not. They're not good. Lot. They're not good. They are not good. Some of these drivers are very low. This is their ratings here. They're not very good at all. Stella, Malcolm, Daniel, Bridget. Not the best of drivers, some of these. Let's see what we've got. Let's go back to that beginning, though, and we'll have a look at the more expensive ones, because we pay more for them, but in the long run, it's probably better to pay more for them than, than not. I mean, the only really good one here is this guy at four point whatever else it is. He can, he can do flammables and whatever else it is. He costs a fair old amount per mile, but he's probably the best driver that's there. I'm tempted to give one of these 1.7 ones a go, um, but it's just like, I'm, yeah, isn't it? It's funny. I'm handing over my original of Eco truck to them. I feel I feel bad handing it over after all this time. I want somebody with long distance though. That's the training they need because that's the, the way they should be. So yeah, there you go, Christina R. It's probably the one because she's got she's got long distance look, and she's got quite a few of other things already. If that makes sense, and she's not in, she's not overly expensive. Um, she'll build up as well, whereas he's quite expensive, and although he's good with just-in times and a few other things, because if you don't add here, you've got the the the, uh, the, 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 the the key to the whole thing. Um, he's not bad. Now, they say they're not even very good. Yeah, it's Christine that's going to be the one. Either that, you gamble on somebody who's got absolutely no rating at all and go right back to the beginning and do sort of Stella or Bridget or D Daniel or, or Malcolm. And sort of have a go at it. I mean, to be fair, your best bet here is neither none of them. T 
him maybe, because he's got a bit of long distance, because that's what they end up doing, long distance almost all the time. Yeah, it's not brilliant. Right, okay, we'll do Christina. Oh, uh, yeah, Christina. Christina R can, can get the job, I think. Right, okay, hire the driver. Pick the one we want her to go to. Uh, United Kingdom. And she can have that truck. There you go, Christina. So let's have a little look at driver management just for a second, see where we're at. So I have actually got two Christines. I've got Christine Christine S. Christine S is a five-star person. She's generating me a decent amount of money. Not as much as I would like, actually, to be honest with you. 3,500. Um, she's got currently training in high-value cargo. There's a training policy there. We've got this Thomasa here. He's in eco-driving, which is good because he needs a bit of better, making a bit more money for me the more he's economically he drives. Um, this lady's also doing eco-driving as well. Good good long distance. They've got up to 4.2. I think they started at 1.7, so so this is where Christina here has to, to do it. Now, training. We're not going to go balanced here. We're going to go straight for long distance and improve on that because that's what we want to do, get her doing the, the, sort of the whole thing. And she's going to be driving our our, uh, our highway. Now, I'm going to buy another premium Renault when I get a chance, and we'll do that for that thing. Hopefully, I can buy online now that I've bought a certain number of it, but it depends. I maybe have to buy so many against a particular against a particular brand, possibly. I don't know, actually. We'll find out. Anyway, so it looks good. Quite like this. I mean, see what see, I look, quite like the, the thing down the bottom corners of these so you can tell what they're doing. So we've got idle, driving, um, resting, or sleeping. So so they, they've got a good... They're doing quite well, actually. I mean, these guys aren't doing badly per mile. This is the, the amount they're making. Bone Duty Fair Christine's making a lot more per mile. But she's based in Ossenbrook. So this is what I'm saying. We're going to get all Renaults. Another Renault Premium in Ossenbrook. And that's my old one there. The, the Vico. And as we move on, we'll, we'll do that. Got a little little plan in my mind for this. Right. Okay. Let's drive. And there is... Um, there was a little thing there on my... Hang on. We'll go back in there. There's a skills thing. Look, I can upgrade my skills again. Okay. Let's do... I'm doing really well, actually, with all of these things. Let's improve our high value a bit further. So basically, we're going to get more money for high value things. 25% increase on it, so it's up to 25% more on high value. I like high value ones because that's usually like diggers and high construction materials. So it's really quite nice. Okay, let's start. Let's get spun round in here. Look at the sun coming through there across the across the dash. It's just a it's a brilliant brilliant thing. This game. It just looks really nice. Just uh, reversing, just gently. Okay, now there's a place around the corner here. We're going to go that. Very, 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 very manoeuvrable. 31. Just checking. And we're out. Okay, we'll see if we can get a very short job. I don't want a long one. I'll just, uh, you know, a couple of thousand euros. Just a bit of extra cash in the pocket. I see we've lost a bit of money there. Um, I would assume that's either diesel or something else. This is a very difficult junction. You're actually meant to stop at the line there, but there's no there's no there's no sort of stop line if that makes oh there's a stop line but it's miles back from the junction. You you wouldn't be able to see anything. Even in a car you'd struggle. I know there's a car there, but we're going for it. There's a train here as well, look. Very cool. Very, very cool. Remember that from last time I did this. As I say, I don't think we stopped here, because I think that was when I had my little, uh, little breakdown of whatever else it is. There's a hole, pothole. Go around that. Okay, so there's a place just up here that we can go to. I don't know if I can pull in from this side of the road, though. So we'll find out in a second. This will be the interesting thing. We might have to swing around the roundabout. I think we're going to have to swing around the roundabout. That's okay. We can do that. We can swing around the roundabout. It looks like a construction um, facility, though, over here. So if it's construction, that's going to be interesting. That means high value straight away. Let's come on over. It looks like we can turn into it. Oh, no, we can't. Yes, we can. I'm making it up as we go along. We definitely can turn into it this way. Let's go. Yes, it's definitely construction. Look at this. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Look at this. 
Wow. Look at that. Oh. Oh. Interesting. Let's see what we can find here then. On this freight market. It's a... Actually, it's not as long as you think it is. It's 325 miles. Let's do it. Uh, it's 16 hours. There'll be a, there'll be a, there's a ferry trip involved. And it takes us to Sweden. So, so uh, Link... Linko Ping. Linko Ping? I don't know. I'm not pronouncing it completely wrong. But but it's a decent ish job. It's high value. Is it just in time? Important delivery. It's an important delivery. It's not just in time. Um, and it's uh, forklift trucks. 11 tons. Quite 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 light, really, for, for, for us. Right, let's do it. Gotta go down into this uh, thing. Oh, wow. There's a guy there. Oh, goodness. It's exciting. Coming down in it here. There's our forklifts there. Wow. This is cool. I've not done one of these before in one of these construction sites. I'm so impressed by this construction site down here as well, though. I think that's really cool. So stop, stop dawdling. Go get the, go get the truck, go get the, the thing. Right, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. I'm watching it. Right, rear view mirror. And, and I always swing too far over straight away. There we go. We're coming in. We're just working our way. Working our way into the spot. Perfect. I even stopped just before it said did that. Let's have a little look, see where we're at. Oh, yeah. Excellent. We look great. Let's put this trailer on. Wow. This game is just absolutely stunning. Look at this. Look at this. It just looks so good. I mean, it just looks... Oh, I, I, I can't tell you how good this game is. It's just so good. All right, I'm just putting my side lights on. I don't know why, because it's not actually that dark. It just seems a bit dark. The sky's a bit dark. Oh, yeah. I feel all this rumbling in the, in the pad. It's brilliant. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's bring this around. Nice. That's it. And over this. Dung dung. Brilliant. Brilliant, 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 brilliant. So another one of these driving out ones where I was saying before, you know how we we can't you can't see much. I'm, I think I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Yeah, the cars, the truck's there, but I'm way ahead of it, so we're, we're all good. Okay, let's get out of here. Nah, I knew you were going to do that. Good old, good old, good old caravan. Let's indicate to go around here further. Okay, well, off we come. Lovely. So first drive. Um, yeah, good. Smooth, actually. I really enjoyed that, though, going through that um, building site, site. That was really cool. So this is a little bit extra on the old on the old video because um, we've, we've spent the last 50 minutes sorting out trucks and things like that. It was interesting enough, wasn't it? I mean, a little drive, getting there, sorting out the trucks and, and what we need. And we're going to pass this building up here on the uh, right-hand side um, that uh, will shows us this sort of like uh, it's quite decorative. And I, as I say, I'm, I think this is one of the ones that I, uh, this is the one that zip got zipped through when 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 uh, when I had problems with the audio because it was it was really bad. Um, so, but there it is on the on the on the on the uh, right-hand side. You can see it all the sort of uh, artwork up the edge of it. See it? Kind of cool. I thought it was cool anyway when I saw it first time. Okay, on we go. Forklift trucks. Oh, jeez. Seriously? I don't think I was in the wrong lane there, you know. I think I think that was a 12 o'clock job, that. How you could have been in either lane, that. Assuming that there's not different rules in this country for what they're doing. Again, this one, this one, I could be on the other side, realistically, but both lanes say that they go straight on. So, why would I want to change lane? 
Yeah, exactly. Oh, that was bad. That was me concentrating too hard on the on, on what was going on with the lane changing. There we go. Right, indicators on anyway. We're ready to go. It's a good load, this one. Right, so we have, if you look down there in the bottom right, we've we've basically got we've got our speed, which is zero miles per hour, then gears that we're in, damage to the truck, the fuel that we have, the whether or not it needs sleep, which is I don't at this moment in time, um, email if we've got any email, um, and then what we've got beyond that is oh look at the sun going across the the tray in the front there, it's cool. Um, I need my mug back though, don't I? Because I need because when I need my cup of tea or my cup of coffee. Which I've not got for this one. It's been a really long video as well. I can't believe it. Anyway, um, so um, yeah, and just below that, you've got your your little flag, which is your your, your basically your your destination. So so it's 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 where you're going to. It's the it's the time. It's the waypoint, if that's the the, the right terminology for it. So that's our waypoint. That's where we we're, we're going um, within the within the whole thing. All right, I'm just gonna get up to speed now. It's only eleven tons worth. I say it's only eleven tons worth. We've got three forklift trucks. And we're going to be coming over shortly. I'm going to look at where the retarder is on this at some point as well, actually. It'll flash up on the screen at some point. Oh, good pull. Yeah, good pull. No, no real struggle for this, this truck. It's not the heaviest of loads, but it's not a struggle. We're still pulling forward. Of course, there's a car underneath me. There we go, we're out. Okay, we should be able to get up to... After we get past here, it should go up to 56, hopefully. Anyway, so we've got a little waypoint below that. It says we're going to there Tuesday at 3.20 a.m. Um, we're looking at 487 miles, a lot longer than I thought it was, and 16 hours. However, we are going to go beyond... Uh, we're not going to go beyond that 16 hours in the sense of the, the travel includes a ferry journey, so we've got a cost for that ferry journey, obviously. Um, but that should be should be, you know... A couple of thousand euros, if that. In fact, I'd be surprised if it's even a thousand euros, considering that that we're we're kind of going somewhere that's within the sort of range of places that that are kind of normally visited. So, we'll we'll see. Here we go. Sun coming through. Oh wow. Oh, another impact. Three cars involved. Three cars involved. Nightmare. I seem to be stuck at 56. Not that I'm complaining too much, because that's the speed I need to do, but I can't seem to get any faster than 56. Do you think this the, the, the truck port in this country is limited to 56? God, I hope that's not the case. I hope that's not the case. <laughs> Can't seem to get past beyond that that speed. Which isn't a problem, just just a bit odd. I thought I'd go faster than that. Look at all these roads inter inter interlinking each other. Very impressive. So this is this is the journey. This is the nice, cool, quiet journey. I've left this one late actually to do this video this 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 uh, this this uh, this week. Um, I'm doing this uh, normally. I, I'm I've done them sort of by Saturday if that makes sense, and they've all been rendered by then. But I'm actually doing this on a Sunday. I had a yesterday. I was I was feeling a bit flawed. I'd had a I'd had a migraine on the uh, Friday, and I was feeling a bit rough. If uh, it, uh, if you ever have a migraine suffer, you'll know exactly what I mean. You kind of you, they they kind of take it out of you a bit when you when you've had one. So um, and it wasn't a full on one as well, which is even worse. It was. Kind of a, um, if it had been a full-on one, it would have probably felt, I probably wouldn't have done anything on Saturday, so it wasn't so bad, realistically, but um, yeah, pretty, 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 pretty nasty, those things. Give you, you know, your head throbs like you wouldn't believe. There's the police up ahead again, stop a truck. Yeah, he's having a word with him, I wonder what he's done. Speeding, maybe. 
speeding. We go with speeding on that one. We got. I haven't got much. I can't seem to get any more speed out of this thing though. Won't let me go faster than I'm currently going. I'm in 12th gear. Maybe I need them 16 gears. I don't know if that would, that would uh, allow me to do the the extra speed I want to do. I'm gonna have to brake in a second because this car behind me is coming up close, and I want to overtake this truck. There we go. We just did it. I'm only just. Am I going faster than you? Oh, this could be a this could be a 14 mile overtake. Maybe. <laughs> I hope not. All right. God, we've just paid the bank back as well. No extra money from anybody else. He's just broke really hard there. That's fine. Whoa! That truck just swerved in and out there. He thought about it, then changed his mind. Don't do that got a magnum as well right we're on our way anyway 14 14 hours to go apparently 14 hours 50 minutes um 425 miles it's gonna be 3 12 a.m when we arrive it's been a smoothest journey it's been nice to be on some solid roads for a change with we, the last couple have been have been sort of back roads um, now we're back into sort of more interesting well not interesting but more sort of straight lines in the in the long run Got to look at some other trucks in the future when I buy another another garage. I'm just watching the time there. It's going very nicely. Longer video than I expected. <laughs> Should be over in a bit. Don't you worry. Enjoy. Sit back and enjoy. The countryside's beautiful. watching down below the volvo i think volvo make a, a truck don't they with a little nose on it like the americans do you know that sort of whole you know stick out the engine in the front kind of thing they've definitely they definitely make one like that i'm guessing it's a stability thing maybe the reason why you'd want to put it heavy on the front because you, you've got heavy on the back don't know oh look that could be a cycle path couldn't it going along there or is it just a track to this 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 facility over here that's look a bit like a cycle path doesn't it there over on the uh, right hand side the farm there maybe it's just that farm possibly so I'll, i've often debated when i've been looking at the the map that they're missing um um spain and uh, and and uh, portugal but it looks like this year that's what's coming spain and portugal i'm quite looking forward to that actually Another sort of beat. I would assume it's quite arid, realistically, the the, the scenery. Um, but there will be some 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 nice places, I would think. Be interesting to see some of the, the the sort of you know Barcelona, Madrids, and things like that. But that's definitely coming. And the American Truck Simulator has got several pieces of DLC that I haven't bought yet. I do need to do need to spend some money on buying those. But as I say, I haven't got into it yet. I haven't really got into it. I, I, I'm not. It's really weird. It, they're not even. You know, this 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 is a big truck that I'm driving right now. Um, the American one should be. You know, sh I should feel that it's it's. You know, I should feel at home enough with it, if that makes sense. But I don't. It feels it feels very large, um, and I, I I've not quite got my my head round the larger trucks yet. So, yeah, quite quite hard to kind of change your, you know, your, that, that especially as I said to you before there, I mean, I was smashed, the, smashed into a car, just completely lost it in front of me because I just couldn't see it down below, whereas here you'd see any car realistically, I say realistically because I've known things where you come underneath it because I wouldn't see a car if it popped underneath me now, realistically, or a van or something similar that did that, but... You just can't see them, them under the nose of the, the truck in, the, in, in, the, in, that, in that one. So the nose is just so far out there, you just can't see it. So I just find it real. I'm finding it. I'm finding it quite difficult to, to drive so far because of that. The travel's better than I thought it was. I thought it was all straight lines. It's actually not. 
there's more more to it than straight lines if that makes sense so so um yeah that I, I thought it was going to be all straight lines and it wasn't so it's not as bad as i thought it was going to be god i love driving at this it's great fun it's just sitting here and just enjoying the sort of pace of the, the whole thing what's going up here there is cars coming slowly down Back to 43. Every time there's a junction comes up, it goes, drops to 43. Come on out. Yep, I'm going to overtake you. Ah, it's because coming off there, that's why. Alright, let's come back over. I was just just, just heading off that, that uh, junction there. Uh, in a couple of weeks' time, I'm taking a break from um, one of my, my regular um, shows. I always do. I always take a two-week break. I used to do um, ten episodes and then have a break because they usually take quite a while to, to render, edit, and all the other bits and pieces that go with it. I'm coming over before you get a chance to do what you're going to do there, car. Um, but I like to take a break from my What's on the Tape series because um, I've discovered that, 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 that I've seemed to have a, a sort of split audience. Some of people who... Uh, that's a lovely-looking church, isn't it, as well? Another one. Very pretty. Um, uh, you know, some people who watch my um, Euro Truck um, bits and pieces of sort of my driving stuff, and then I've got my the people who um, watch my uh, what we where are we entering? Oh, this is Latvia. So probably be Latvia. My Euro Truck and some people that watch my um, retro stuff. So so. Um, and my retro stuff does take does take a, a fair old amount of time to actually do and process, if that, that makes sense. It's, it's, it's quite a it's quite a it's quite a lengthy and laborious process because of the the nature of uh, sort of well retro hardware, basically. Here we go, back to full speed, slowed through the border. I think this is Latvia, because from that from that thing we've been to Latvia before. Okay, uh, 3.12 a.m. is when we're going to get in. 334 miles to go. Remember, a lot of this is over water. So there's at least 150 miles of it over water, so we're not going to... It's not that long a journey, realistically. It's not. It's, it, feels, it feels longer than it is. We're back to speed, slowing down. It's one of these countries where the speed goes up and down quite, quite rapidly. It'll go up again in a second, I bet you. Oh, I've missed the blooming junction. Oh, crumbs. I hope it didn't cause any or break into smash into me. Look at that waterway. That's cool. Um, so we'll go this way. Damn. Yeah, I know. Probably not meant to go this way. In fact, I think this is the, the other side of the road. I'm on the wrong side of the road. I know, I know, I know. I know, I know, I know. I'm going. Yeah, damn you. Yeah, I know, I realised, I realised I'd come over the wrong way, I can't believe that. Right, did I get into trouble with that? I don't think it cost me anything. Oh, look, we've got some money. The people have done some, some, some work in my, my, uh, in my, uh, my, some of my, um, um, drivers have made some, some work. We're back to 24,000. It's alright. We'll live with that. Seems to be a one-way system going on here. I'm in the right lane, but it seems to be a one way through this little town here. There was a speed camera there. Interesting little house. Built right against the edge of the road. Some worn shutters on it though. Another wooden house here. Nice garden. Okay. We're working it quite nicely here. I mean, it's get we're getting there. Slowly. It's been not a bad drive, actually. I'm I'm quite impressed with the the the, the power of this truck, and uh, and you know when we had to make a little bit of a detour there, it was all good. So, um, yeah, excellent. Let's push this button and let's get on going. Let's get up to to 31 miles per hour again. Let's see if we can get ourselves going through this town. Some security cameras and explosives. It looks like there, <laughs> just exposed and left on the street. There we go. Set the uh, cruise control. A lovely waterway. Interesting looking tower ahead as well. Wow. Very pretty, isn't it? I'm going to miss this. 
Yep, another one of them flashes over. It's just stopping and starting me all throughout the whole place, to be honest. Another truck. Got plenty of diesel anyway, we're, we're good for that. And we should get a sleep when we go over the waterway, actually. I don't know if that how that well that'll apply, but we'll give it a try and we'll see what happened. It's an important delivery, this one, apparently. Have you noticed the lamppost in front has um, got stripes on it? Yeah, I've got more power than you. I think it's the same type, actually. It's a Renault. It is, it's a Renault. It's a Renault um, Magnum. Maybe not got the same engine as me, to be honest with you. It's also probably got a heavier load, because mine's only 11 tonnes in comparison. He comes right forward, doesn't he? Okay, here we go. Swing that right round. Oh, people out having a drink in that porch area. I like this little town. It's kind of cool, isn't it? Very pretty. Sort of VW bus type thing. It's cool. Oh, tram. Tram? I don't think I've seen a tram before. Excellent. Got to wait for the tram to go. There it is, the tram. I wouldn't call it... Uh, it's not badly full, actually. I was going to say it wasn't full, but it is actually quite full. Right. I do feel like we've been going very slowly through all of this. This town. And just, just, just everything seems to have been going slowly. Look at these graphics, though. They're stunning, aren't they? I was expecting a train next. That would have been the that would have been the next thing. A train as we go through. Everything else seemed to go through that town. Okay. Thirty-one. He is locked into the cruise control. As we work our way through this little town. I would say sleepy, but to be fair, it's got a lot of uh, you know that's that's obviously a substation for power. Um, it seems to have an awful lot of um, bits and pieces in it for a, for a, for a sleepy town. Okay. I'm hoping this road doesn't come to it. That's a giveaway. That's a giveaway. Let's keep going. We're okay. We're okay. Let's get on. Okay. What's that? Oh, it's an anchor. It's an anchor. There's an anchor there. This game keeps giving with, with new and more interesting things, doesn't it? It's so smooth, though, as well. You don't notice any loading time or anything like that on it. Here we go. Round this way. Into the, into the woods. We're heading towards the sea, actually. That's where we're going, because we're going into Sweden. So this is definitely this is definitely Latvia. So we've gone through Lithuania and we're definitely in Latvia. So this is definitely Latvia. I looked it up, didn't I? I remember you remember a few episodes back I looked up Latvia and it was fourth poorest in the European Union apparently. Country wise. I'm not sure that's something to be bragged about, but that was the main, that was the first thing that I came across when it, I looked at Latvia. That and it has a lot of outdoor markets and a lot of um, farming. That's its that's its real big, uh, real sort of big agricultural thing. Is its big sort of big contribution to the to the European Union. Okay. I might put a skip at the bottom of this for, for people, you know, buying a new truck and moving on and things like that. Because people keep seem to, to like my videos. My my hiring and firing video with um, truck drivers was re is very, very popular. Um, still very, very popular. Um, and I, th I think sometimes I think I should redo one, just like a proper one with it. Because it's got my poor recording from when I was using just the uh, the recording facility itself rather than the, the, the sort of the, the more, the sort of the better um, boom and mic that I use nowadays um, but just haven't got time sometimes I think we all don't have time do we it's one of those things you don't don't always have time for, for, for things I do make a real effort though to try and get all this stuff out I do feel like it's sometimes I feel like it's a second job but I do enjoy it if I'm honest I wouldn't do it if I didn't 
some cattle to the to the to the to the right there. We're through, we'll work at winding our way through the countryside now. Fifty miles per hour. I'm a little bit worried though that this is limited to fifty six. So that would, that could be quite. That's I don't think it's bad, but I don't think it. I don't think it's good. Or I just don't think it's handy really. I don't know if there's any states that actually go over 56. I think even in the UK you'd be able to do 60 on the motorway. So maybe that's a that maybe there is a little bit of a problem there. It's a little hut out in the middle of nowhere, look. Just down the end of that road. <laughs> don't do that! <laughs> don't want to don't want to lose the load. Let's just concentrate on road and driving. Here we go, we're coming to a little turning shortly. There's a car. I think broken down. Yep. We're going to have to go past this one. There's a police car coming. Right, go around them. Sorry to see you broken down. Police are helping out anyway. Probably more just you know, making sure that we don't run into them more than anything else. Right, let's have a little look left and right. Oh, we're clear. Proper clear. Right, okay, let's go. We've got 11 hours and uh, 30 minutes to go, 280 miles. We've got um, a tr ferry trip in the middle of it all. Hopefully that's enough to, to, to get us some sleep. If not, we'll be we'll be pushing it as usual, just the, 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 the usual kind of thing. We'll be absolutely pushing the, 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 the limits of the, the my sleep and truck and whatever else is. Okay. Oh, down to speed again. I hate that catches me out every time forty three is the speed limit we pass through this little town Wow Ooh them trucks have gotta be oh speeding see the thing flashing there at me Okay on we go beautiful Right, I'm just gently working, winding my way through the countryside here. I could have come to a junction shortly. It's not this one; it's the next one. I thought I'd set, oh, I set my speed limit there. I'm just looking at the beautiful scenery. Actually, it's they're almost like driving in a, through a, a, a suburban estate here at this point, aren't we? I bet they're not too chuffed about so many trucks. Out to fair, look at all the trees they've got and the length of the gardens and things like that. It's really quite nice, actually. Oh, please stay on go. That Mustang was trying to attempt to go through it all. No, not going to do it. Indicator's on anyway. We'll go through it in a minute. Yeah, it's very suburban, isn't it? Look at it. Wow. Definitely suburbia. Oh, I'll whiz around the truck while we're here. It's very nice. Anyway, we'll wait for this to turn. That's cool. Yeah, very suburban. Right, here we go. Oh, all the cars parked along there down the road. Very nice. Very pretty. Look at all the flowers and things as well. Apparently they've got a, a, was it a flower market as well, I think, in Latvia. That was the other thing that they did. Flower market was the, was the big thing. through that one. I'm going to just come on over now, just gently. Because the next one we have to go over anyway, so we might as well be here in the right lane. Wrong one. Next one. I'll just wait for this traffic light to change. Uh, do, do you know what? It's one of those, it's it's one of the curses of this kind of thing. You know when I'm, I'm trying to do a video and you've got, basically you've got We've done. We've 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 got a new driver. We've sorted out the truck. We've we've, we've spec'd up a new vehicle, um, and then of course one of the one of the things that comes and gets me is the fact that that um, um, I'm 
you know, I need to get to the next destination, if that makes sense. And I need to, and the lights won't go with me. There'll be a bull over here, if I'm right. There it is. Look. Can we see him from here? I won't, I've stopped here, and I shouldn't do it, really. But there we go. Yeah, bull there. I knew there was. We're coming to... The, this is the, the port that we leave from, from Latvia. There's like that... So there's a bull over here. I passed that last time, and I was like, oh, that's cool. Right, okay. Wait for this car. Let's go. Then we'll go to the port, and then we'll head back into Sweden. Which is nice. This game's so beautiful. You don't even... You know, I've got all these expansions, and you can whiz around them all. And obviously, if I get the, the, the Spanish one comes up, I'll be getting a, I'll be getting the, that, that add-on straight away. But, but you know, I, it's such a beautiful-looking game that you, 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 you... Whenever you drive, the effort has been made. And the fact that they've... They've redone some of the 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 the, uh, the art and and the areas. It's just it's just phenomenal, really. It's absolutely brilliant. I'm 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 I can't say I'm you know you know. There's nothing about this game did never disappoint me, and I still can't believe to this day that, that it was a Steam sale and I got it for three pounds seventy five, the the initial one. And yeah, okay, there's, I've had to buy some bits and pieces since, but but to be honest with you, it's blooming brilliant. I found hours worth the play out of it and really enjoyed every second of it. And let me be waxing lyrical about this game. Nobody needs to sell it. If you're watching this, you love this game anyway, probably. There's a good chance that you've, you've already bought it and had it from a Steam sale or something similar. Here we go. Lovely. So we just need to plonk it in here. On the, I love it when we get to, we get to park it in here. Roll it up here. Nice. There we go. Let's have a little look. Oh, it's a bit tight on that side. Look. <gasps> I've pushed the mirror over, definitely. Yeah, that mirror's definitely cracked against the edge of there. You don't see it from inside. Yeah, I think I've just scraped the paint on my new my new Renault. Anyway, let's go to the destination. So let's go. So we've got eight-hour journey there. It's a thousand euros. I was, I was right-ish with the price. Um, not not brilliantly close, but that eight hours, that's me slept. That, I should come out here um, well and truly slept. Be the middle of the night, though, but... That's the lights on. Disengage the heart parking brake, of course. Oh, we've got more money. 37,000. We're starting to make some cash, actually. I'm quite pleased with my, my, with my drivers and whatever else it is. I should start making a lot more money as we go along. Right, so we're in Sweden now. So we're in Sweden, and we have 98 miles to go, or 2 hours and 32 minutes. I said it wouldn't be long, and it would be around about uh, the, the time that, that I said it was. Um, and we're there. We're almost there. We're, we're, we're just going to make our way out of this, uh, this port, and then we are going to make our way to our final destination. Look at that. I don't know what that is. No idea. It's like a church, a church type building. Look, I keep saying church a lot, don't I? But, it, but they are very church-like. Okay, nice and swung out, and now we can see the ferry now as well. Look at that, right in front of us. Bright blue lights of the the entrance to it, I think. It's really cool. That's that's the sign, isn't it? The pl uh, Polaris um, line, Polaris line. Anyway, on we go. Our journey is almost at an end. I'm going to see how we do when we park this thing. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be a big one. It's a whopper. Ooh, I'm looking at the, the lighting on the, the inside of the, the truck. It's very subtle, actually, that. The the um, the Vico one, obviously, had that great big blue... Um, Sort of um, central dash thing, and this, 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 this. The, they've got the reds there that are in it. Just nice and subtle. Very nice. Okay, I'm hoping we'll get out of town and get some speed up, surely. But I don't think you go very fast through Sweden from re from memory. We've driven through Sweden quite a few times before. There we go up to 43 now. Let's get our foot down a little bit. Get ourselves speed up. Want to get these? Want to get the speed going so that we can get to the destination. Nice dark roads. And let that drift down again to 43. And we're going to lock it. Lock it in. There we go. No, I haven't locked it in. Try that again. 
locked. There we go. That's the GPS, uh, the GPS, the uh, cruise control on. At 43. It's going to slow down for sure when we come around this corner. But we'll see. Wow. Car flying around. Ouch. Ouch. I knew that was going to do that. I've knocked off all, knocked over all those ballards around the corner there. I felt it as well. The impact was bad. Um, it's on the trolley at the back. I hopefully haven't done too much damage to the cost of the journey. Uh, it was the car on the other side of the road. I was trying not to... I, I, was, I was going a bit too fast and, and working my rear around that, that corner there that was was too, 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 too quick for the for the whole thing. Let's just have a little look and see where we're at. I'm going for it. I'll get out here. I hope I haven't done any damage to the vehicles. But we're working our way gently to it. I've just been handed coffee and um, scones, which there's no space for. Over that side, over that side, maybe that side. Move the phone, move the phone. Push it, push, push. Yeah, there we go. I've got we, we've got struggling to get the food on the table or on the on the desk. We've got food. We've been we've been we've, hang on we've been we've been we've been do you know what how many truckers can get that when they're travelling somebody bring them a cup of coffee and a and a and a and a, and a, um, a scone a nice cheese scone my daughter made some cheese scones so I'm gonna have a cheese scone so so um, Mrs complains she couldn't get past the chair because I'm so big no I'm not that big <laughs> oh brilliant so um, oh I'm, I'm do you know I'm I'm desperate to get to this coffee now I am I'm 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 gonna see if we can get to the finish of the journey first before we do the the coffee. I've now got a dog as well. I don't know which side of the door it's on. That's um, attempting to either rip the door down from the inside or the outside. I can't see it. It's uh, extremely annoying. It's because I've got food. So either wants in or it wants out. One or two. Right. Anyway, come on, plow on. We're almost there. Sorry about the introduction on there. I hope you got yourself a cup of coffee or somebody brought you one. Or at least a, at least a, at least a, um, a, 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 a sort of a, a, a beer or something like that. Oh, I don't know. Some, what beverage of your choice? You don't, don't listen to me. Have whatever you fancy. Get yourself something to eat as well. It's been running on for a while. This one, I do, do. I, I don't. Well, no, I don't apologise because we wanted to try the truck out and it's lovely. It's been blooming brilliant. Apart from that, where I caught the the wing mirror and um, obviously knocked over some some of those um, bollards that were there. They were quite annoying, actually, that there were bollards would have knocked them over. There's Scania, look. Don't see a dealership, though. It's just a great big Scania sign stuck in the middle of nowhere. Marvellous. Right. 50 miles per hour. We're heading under this beautiful bridge. Doesn't feature on the map, though, so it must be a railway bridge. Interesting. On the GPS, it doesn't feature. There's a lot of cars under there. Look. They're all parked under it like a parking spot. Weird. Right, okay, here we go. So, we are 1 hour and 59 minutes out. 58 miles. 300... Uh, 300. 3.07 a.m. We're making very good time. We have had a sleep on the ferry, which was brilliant. Um, and we're just, we're just plowing our way there. It's brilliant. It's good, this. I'm wondering where we're going to end up parked, though, because um, with, with construction um, vehicle things, you might, we might end up on a construction site. That was one of the things that really excited me about the American Truck Simulator. Um, I took some construction materials once. Um, it was a, a, a bulldozer. I carried a bulldozer. Um, it wasn't a massive one. It was only a small one. Um, and it took me to a destination. I was like, really? Where am I? What's the destination am I at? And there's police up in front. Somebody's either been pulled over or there's, there's something that's broken down, possibly. Broken down. Oh, no. Impact, probably. Oh, dear. Another impact. Anyway, hit the brakes there slightly, just to just to lock in behind these guys for the moment. Um, anyway, so so and it took me to a construction site, an actual road construction. So it was like on the, the road in front of us here, there was a road path, and I had to reverse in through the traffic lights. You know, they get traffic lights where you go through things. Um, I love that when they cross the bridges over the top of it with the, the sort of their service stations. I think they're kind of cool. I can only think of one in the UK that I know of anyway. Um, that's very sort of like that. Anyway, um, so they got these. Um, uh, they, they get. They brought me to a construction site, so I had to be between the traffic lights and reverse in and park in there. 
took me ages because of the size of the truck again. Um, just, just I don't know why. I just struggle with it for some reason. I shouldn't really because the, the concept is exactly the same, but it's, I guess it's practice like anything else. Um, and it was quite interesting. I quite liked that. I thought it was quite a nice a nice touch, if that makes sense. Sort of doing that. I don't know if, I don't know if there's any Euro truck ones that do that. I've got all the construction add-ons, that's a certain. I got train simulator as well. I, I think I said this as well. I got the train train one, um, the 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 sort of the train the train simulator 2020. Um, I hadn't realised though. If you want to buy all the DLC, for instance, for the last year's one, the train simulator 2019, it's going to set you back. And brace yourselves. I hope you're sitting down. It's going to set you back a cool seven and a half thousand pounds. To add the all add-ons, so I'm wondering whether it's worth playing this game. If I'm going to have to pay seven and a half grand to get the, ad I suppose you just buy what you want. But seven and a half thousand pounds is a lot of add-on for a train game, because you have to add routes and they're all DLC. It seems a bit seems a bit excessive to me, but hey, especially as it's only last year that that one came out. You know, in the now 2020. Kind of feels a bit that's that feels a bit um, predatory, doesn't it? Realistically, I haven't played it yet, so I can't tell you whether or not it's actually worth. Oh, hang on, coming off at this junction. Um, whether or not it's actually worth the uh, worth that kind of thing. Oh, look, here's the jet planes again there on the the, the left hand side. You see them? Saab used to make them, didn't they? They made engines for jet planes. That was their big thing. So we got jet planes. It's cool, isn't it? I like that. Here we go. There's our turning. Right, anyway. Don't know if we've been here before. We've definitely been past those planes before. We're just letting the... I've said this before, though. We're, we're really very much letting the, the, the game dictate our journeys now. I'd, I did try and make it go the way I wanted to go, but but I kind of move the direction, sort of, we go, and we, we, we do... We, we don't. I don't want to mess around too much looking for jobs. Okay, here we go. It wants me to come over to the to the uh, to the right shortly. We'll do that. Oh, I've not been here before, though. I've not been here before. Let's go over. Forty-three is the speed limit. Set to forty-three. We're over. Roundabout coming up. Gently does it. Down thirty. I'm going to go over this roundabout. Off we come. I'm sorry, concentrating there. I often say, listen, I'm concentrating. <laughs> listen, there's nothing to listen to. My brain's concentrating. Okay, we are coming through here again. And we're coming off here. Making good time. We are three miles out. We're not far now from our destination. Kind of busy for 2.51 a.m. 52 now, a.m. Centrum. That's where we're going to. I don't know what that means. I mean, it could be it could be Swedish for, 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 for industrial park for all I know. Come on. I don't know if that truck behind me is coming through. Oh, it is. Oh, it's, it was a double one as well. It was like a road train. Impressive. Oh, look at this. The sun coming up and everything shortly, hopefully. Look at that. Look at the sea. It looks beautiful. 43 miles per hour. Is that speed limit? I want to be coming over here because this looks like we're going over for this next part. We're ploughing in there. Got our 11 tonnes of... Uh, 31 is the speed limit. So the speed does drip down, drift down, drift down, drift down. And with 31. Wow. Some nice looking buildings actually. Bicycles just left outside. It's fine. Construction stuff. Oh, they're building a bridge. Maybe it's for this bridge. Maybe it's this bridge. That's what it's for, isn't it? It's for this bridge. Three forklift trucks for the bridge. Possibly. Don't know. Very impressive. On the wrong side of the road, anyway. Let's move back over. 
There we go. We're working our way in. I'm not sure where we're going here. I can't see the, the destination as such. This will be one where it actually is a construction site. It says it's up here, though. We're, we're getting there. Just looking at the bridge. Very nice. Okay, we're so close now. Okay. Here we are, going down here. Alright, where are we going? Oh, I think that's our destination there, that, that final place at the end. Was that Euro goodies or something like that? No, I don't think it's Euro goodies. Can't read the, the text. Can't read the text yet. We're getting there, though. Oh, is it here? No, it's here. It's here. We're going to Ikea. Ah, I suppose that would make sense, because they've got the depot, kind of depot thing. Yeah, I'm just pushing it around to make sure I can get in okay. There we go. Ready to handle the job. Let's have a little look. I bet it's right round the back if we go do the do the more difficult one. Hey, what the hell? Let's do it. We're all in. Let's get that extra points. Ah, oh, damn you! I'm. Just, I've. I've. I've pulled the truck a bit too in my my effort to try and make sure it's swung in okay I pulled the truck a bit too far over and I caught if you look on the left if you look in the uh, right hand mirror there this is like a little white dot on the edge of the truck bit there I managed to catch it on there that was annoying right let's go let's see where it wants it this could be this could be tight this could be tight right so I need to bring it past so I can swing it in. Let's have a little look at the spot. There it is. Right. So if I come this way and I follow the instructions of, of, of Mark. Thank you, Mark. I should be able to look out the window and reverse. Go on, back right round the way. Nothing so good, but I'm, I'm, I'm. Let's square it up a bit. Okay, I'm gonna bring it forward. And I'm gonna have a little look outside, see where we're at. Okay, so I want to be pulling this round a bit. See me feeding the wheel there. That's kind of cool. Look at that. No, you're making making a hash of it. Come forward and then try again. That's the answer to that question. All right, let's bring come forward and try it again. I'll just come forward and just just bring it round again, and we'll try it again. Just try it again. This is where I go a bit quiet because I'm I'm concentrating on trying to get it in. Okay. outside. Damn you. Damn, 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 damn. Okay. Uh, I need to go straight a little bit now. So I don't damage the truck. There. Right, okay. Back inside and then we'll have a look out the back. Uh, 
of the way. Idiot. Ah, what am I doing? Come on, calm down. I get excited sometimes and just start pulling the, the truck the wrong blooming way. Let's have a look at this. Oh, the way, oh, the way, oh, the way. What are you doing? Oh, man. Your brain's just gone to mush. Right, my brain's gone to mush. Other way. That's it. Other way, other way, other way. Brain has gone to mush. Really has. I can just see in the back of this trailer here. Right, I'm just going to go all the way. <laughs> Impact. Yep, impact at the back, and just a little, just a little impact, but still an impact. Let's just pull us around here. Not very good recently. I've, I've just uh, the impact was there. But practice is making perfect, as they say. But um, right, okay. Let's push this round this way. It's a bit cheaty, this, but I am ready to park. Uh, go back. <sighs> brain, brain, brain. Engage. Engage, brain. Engage, brain. Making a hash of this. Okay, let's get back in. I'm going to look out the window and I'm going to just reverse straight now. It should be fine. Another way. Not too much. Just a little bit. Come on. I'll take it. It wasn't brilliant. It wasn't the best of parking I could have done, but it, it's good enough. We'll, we'll take it. Right, okay, let's press the trailer and drop it down. No, it went a little bit longer than I thought it was going to do this video, but hey, it was the first journey we've had. We're up to 37,000 in the bank anyway beforehand, and now we've got a little bit extra cash. Uh, hopefully, I haven't got any... Um, done any damage here. I've got a bit more money for the high value element. And that's excellent. I'm obviously now I'm a master. It's brilliant. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. Good journey, realistically. Not as bad as I thought it was going to be. So we done all, we did all right in the end. That's my cool box. You can see it in there. In, in the, we'll just have a quick look at these before we, we, we call it a day. These are the bits and pieces you can get now. You can get new a new sort of exhausts and whatever else it is. Uh, volcano ones, canopies, um black hood stars i really should do some 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 jazzing up of the vehicle shouldn't i at some point and what else have we got new upgrades for um trailers bits and pieces for trailers excellent pallet boxes and everything that's brilliant so um we need to find somewhere to park for the night so let's quickly do that let's see if we can find somewhere here there must be somewhere nearby yes there is there is a place there let's go do that um, we can actually pass somewhere as well usefully so let's 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 go Let's go do that and return to the drive quickly. And we are ready to go. Let's get out here. And we'll 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 chuck it in for the night and then we'll call it a day. That's this guy. Yeah. Sorry about the paint work on those trucks. Didn't do enough damage to them though, thankfully. Cheers. Thank you. See you later. Good evening, or good morning, should I say. Hope you have a good day. Oh, that's good. I'm going around here. Oh, the lights on this are so... They're so beamy, the lights on this car, this vehicle. So beamy. Oh, that's not, not a word. A man dealer? Cool. 
The only thing I know about man, is, uh, apart from the fact I've seen their trucks around, were they somebody else before or have they always been man? That's the, one of the questions I need to ask. Um, but the other thing is, the only thing I really know about them is they do, do, they do buses as well, don't they? That's another thing they do. Um, and they... I don't know, I've seen them around. I, I, I don't know. They haven't got any brands that are anything other than, than sort of... Is there any... Is the, just as I said, as I was saying before at the beginning of this, you know, whether or not there should be a, a sort of like a, I don't know, a older version of, of 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 trucks as well. I would quite like to see that because then you get you get all the old. Um, was it Leyland who used to make them. I'm sure it was, wasn't it? All them years ago, it was Leyland. That's absolutely awful parking. But I tell you what, it looks like a really nice hotel. That there's nowhere, to, nowhere to visit round about. Go outside. Yeah. Some nice industrial bit units. That's lovely. Terrible parking, but that's where we're going to leave it. Anyway, I've been. <laughs> I've got to turn the engine off. Look, even do that. Won't put us in rest yet, but I'll do it maybe next time round. Anyway, um, I've been your <laughs> host, Real Genetic Demon. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to like and subscribe. I'm going to go drink my coffee, and I'll see you soon. Bye bye now.